Hello and welcome to the chapter called data handling. So this is the part three of this particular chapter. I hope you have watched the previous parts of this series. If not, the links are given in the description. You can always go and check them out. So today's topic of discussion will be regarding assignment and relational operators in Python. So let's begin with the concept of assignment operator. Assignment operator, it is denoted with the help of the equal to symbol. So the assignment operator is used in Python to assign values to a variable. So to store values in a variable, we take the help of the assignment operator, which is the equal to symbol. The operator takes the value or the computed value from the right hand side and assigns it to the left hand side. So what is the work of an assignment operator? The work of an assignment operator is to take the value or the computed value from the right hand side and store it in the left hand side. Okay, so it will take the value from the right hand side and store it into the left hand side. So if I give a equals to 5, what Python will do? Python will take the value 5 and store it into a. Sometimes if I give c equals to 9 plus 3, it will compute the value of 9 plus 3 that is 12 and store the result in c. Now there is a difference in the equal to operator in mathematics and the equal to operator that we use in Python. Okay, so what is the difference? Let us check it out here. Okay, so let's say we have 2 plus minus 3 equals to 2 minus 3. Let's say this is a problem in mathematics. So in mathematics, 2 plus minus 3 equals to 2 minus 3. If I, so this statement means that left hand side equals to right hand side okay so how can we prove it so if i take the lhs if i write 2 plus minus 3 2 plus minus is minus 2 minus 3 that is equals to minus 1 similarly if i take the rhs 2 minus 3 equals to how much it is minus 1 therefore what we can say lhs equals to rhs but it does not mean left hand side equals to right hand side in python Okay, in Python, the equal to symbol is known as the assignment operator and what it does, it simply carries the value from the RHS and stores it in left hand side. Okay, so always you should remember that in the left hand side, there should never be an expression. Okay, left hand side will always consist of a variable. Okay, therefore, if you write C plus D equals to A, this, this will generate an error in Python. Obviously, you can write A equals to C plus D. This is correct, but this statement is wrong because this is not the equal to operator. This is not the same as the equal to operator that we are using in mathematics. Let's try to understand the use of equal to operator. So if I write A equals to 5, it will simply take the value of 5, five and store it into A. Therefore, when I display A, I'll get the value as 5. Similarly, if I write C equals to 9 plus 6, then it will compute the value and then it will display the result. But let's say if I give A equals to 3, B equals to 2, C equals to let's say 3 and let's say D equals to 1. So if I write now C plus D equals to let's say A, then I'll get an error. Why? Because I'm trying to give an expression to the left hand side. Expression will never be in the left hand side. In the left hand side, we will always have what? We will always have a variable or a computed or an expression okay in the left hand side we'll always have a variable but in the right hand side we can have a value or an expression but in the left hand side you should never give any expression in python so that's about the assignment operator let's go to the next concept which is the augmented assignment operator so this operator is used to combine the impact of an arithmetic operator with an assignment operator so if we want to combine the impact of an arithmetic operator like plus minus into division with an assignment operator that is the equal to symbol, then it is known as augmented assignment operator. 
it is basically used to shorten an expression if two values or two variables in an expression are common. Let's try to understand what I mean by this statement. So let's say I write here a equals to a plus b. So this can be shortened as follows a plus equals to b. So let's say I write a my equals to a minus b it can be shortened as a minus equals to b. Similarly the same rule will apply for multiplication also for division also for flow division also for exponentiation operator also and for modular division also. Let's try to understand it with the help of examples. So let's say I have a equals to 3, b equals to 5. Okay, if I write a equals to a plus b and then display a, I am getting the result as a 8. But the same thing can be written using augmented assignment operator as follows a plus equals to b. Then also the result will be calculated. And how can we see the result? If I just write a, then I'm getting the result as 13. Why I'm getting 13 here? Because at the previous step, the value of a was 8. 8 plus 5 is how much? 8 plus 5 is 13. Therefore, we are getting the result as how much? We are getting the result as 13. Similarly, it is also applicable in case of multiplication also. If I write a equals to uh, like a into b, I'm getting the result as 65 similar thing similarly this can be shorthand using the augmented assignment operator as follows a into equals to b if i write it in this format and display a then i'm getting the result as 325 so we can shorten the expression if there is one common uh, variable okay so that's all about the augmented assignment operator Let's go to the relational operators. So relational operators are basically used for comparing two values or comparing two variables. So it refers to the relationship that values can have with one another. Relational operators in Python are as follows. First is the less than operator. You already know what is the meaning of less than. It is similar to the meaning which we have already know in mathematics. Okay, it will check if the value in the right hand side or the expression in the right hand side is greater than the expression in the left hand side or not. Similarly, greater than symbol is there, <clears throat> less than or equal to symbol is there, less than or equal to how it works. At first, it will check whether the value in the left hand side is less than the value in the right hand side. If it is not less than, then it will go for the for checking the equal to symbol. Both will not be compared together. At first, the less than sign will be compared and after that, the equal to sign will be compared. Next, we have greater than or equal to and this is the actual equal to operator. So if you want to compare whether left hand side is equal to right hand side, we use this symbol that is double equal to symbol. So double equal to means equal to in mathematics, but single equal to in programming means that it is an assignment operator and we are just taking the value of the right hand side and carrying it to the left hand side. Next we have the not equals to operator. In this way we write the not equals to operator. Now while using these relational operators, we need to know certain principles. Let's try to understand the principles. So the first principle is that for numeric values, the values are compared after removing the trailing zeros after the decimal point. So what happens here, what do I mean by this is that if I write 76 equals to equals to 76.0, these two are basically the same thing. And the comparison is done after removing the trailing zeros after the decimal point. After the decimal point, whatever zeros we have, only zeros, they will be removed before the comparison. So after removing only the comparison is done. So relational operators always gives a result in either true or false. So if I write 2 equals to equals to 2.0 then it is true. Now here I have, I have used the double equal to symbol which means I have checked whether LHS is equals to RHS or not. Okay. Next go. Let's go to the next principle which is Smaller case alphabets has higher priority as compared to capital letters. 
So always remember this thing, if we are comparing capital A and small a, we are getting the result as false because capital A is not greater than small a. Because smaller case alphabets has higher priority as compared to capital letters. But if I give small a greater than capital A, then I am getting the result as true. Now why this is happening? This is happening because of a value known as the ASCII value. Each character in a programming language has a value and that value is known as the ASCII value or the American standard code for information interchange. So as you can see here, this is what? This is small a. What is the ASCII value for small a? It is 97. If I show you here, this is capital A. What is the ASCII value for capital A? The ASCII value for capital A is your 65. Okay, so as you can see, the ASCII value of small letters, small letter A is 97 and capital letter A is 65. Therefore, when we are comparing small letter A and capital letter A, we are, so if you just write cap small A greater than capital A, then you will get the result as true. But if you write capital A greater than small A, then you are getting the result as false. Similarly, various ASCII value characters are given in this chart. Okay. I hope it is clear why smaller case alphabets has higher priority as compared to capital letter alphabets. Even we can compare different alphabets also if I write R greater than smaller, I am getting false because small R has a greater ASCII value as compared to capital R. What is the ASCII value of small R? It is 114. What is the ASCII value of capital R? It is your 82. Okay. Similarly, different different ASCII values can be compared. So when comparison is happening be between alphabets, always the comparison is happening between the ASCII values, corresponding ASCII values. So if I write A less than, let's say, B, then we're getting the result as false. So, so this thing should be remembered. This is the second principle of relational operators. What's the third principle? Spaces are real characters and they have a specific code. So if I write Rahul equals to equals to then give a space and then write Rahul again, then I'll get the result as false. Because the string is same, but before Rahul in this right hand side, I've given a space and space also has a specific code. Therefore, we are getting the result as false rather than true. Now, how can we say that space has a special character? So, if you see the ASCII value of space, SPC stands for space, it is how much? It is your 32. That means spaces are also real characters and therefore we are getting the result as false. So, if I write Raj equals to equals to Raj without any space, then I am getting the result as true. But here, if I just give a space here, then I'll get the result as false. Why? Because spaces are real characters. Next principle of relational operator is two lists or two tuples are equal if they have the same elements in the same order. I've already given you a brief idea about list and tuples in the previous session. So here, what is this? This is a, a tuple. There are two tuples T1 and T2. Both has the same value. After that, when we compared it by giving T1 equals to equals to T2, we are getting the result as true. On the other hand, if I give T1 equals to 1 to 3 and comma XYZ and T2 equals to XYZ comma 1 to 3, we have the same elements within both the tuples, but the order is changed. But after that, if I try to compare them, I am getting the result as false, not true. This case is also applicable in case of list. So here both the list uh, elements are same and they are also in the same order. Since they, the order is also same, therefore I am getting the result as true. But here in the second case, if you can see here, so here what we get, here also the elements are same, but the ordering is changed. So since the ordering is changed, if we are trying to compare both the list, we are getting the result as false. So let's see it practically. So if I just take list L equals to, let's take L1 equals to, I'll just give some values 8 comma 5. Let's take another list as L2 8 comma 5. So if I give L1 
equals to equals to L2 I'm getting the result as true but here if I just change the order of L2 5 comma 8 but the elements are same then what we are getting we are getting the result as false because here the comparison happens index by index and element by element that means first element of the first list is compared to the first element of the second list and so on so let's go to the next principle which says boolean true is equivalent to 1 and boolean false is equivalent to 0 i have already discussed about this in the previous session if i write bool 0 it signifies false so i'm getting the result as false if i write bool 1 it signifies true therefore i'm getting the result as how much i'm getting the result as true so this is basically a summary of all the relational operators which we have done here so let's take 23 and 3 for p and q correspondingly so if i write p greater than q i'm getting the result as true for obvious reason similarly here if i give p greater than equals to q at first p it will be checked whether p is greater than q if p is greater than q then i'll get the result as true if it is not greater then it will compare whether p is equal to q or not and then it will give you the result okay i think uh, from this sum summary if you just check it out in your interactive mode then you will find the results which you are seeing in your screen okay i hope that this session was useful i'll see you again in the next session with a different topic thank you very much